Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be trying to build a compelling case for why you should be using Confluence. Eight months ago, I created a video series talking to you about what Confluence was, but today I'm going to try to do a little bit of a better job to hopefully sway you, convince you that if you're not using Confluence today, that you're making a grave mistake and it's something you should definitely fold into your tool stack. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. Now this video is special. It's part of the Summer of Atlassian 2.0. And there are two things that I'm gonna need from you. First, Help us hit our goal of 10,000 subscribers, and you can do that by simply smashing that subscribe button. It's totally easy, totally free for you. All you gotta do is smash that subscribe button down below. And second, we are trying to double our monthly viewers. So all you gotta do is watch this video, watch it all the way, and share it with your coworkers, share it with your peers, share it with your teams. Make sure you smash those like buttons and comment in the comment section as that really does help this channel grow and YouTube will know to share this video with even more people. Now, let's talk about why Confluence is an important tool. Atlassian has always really treated Jira as their baby, as their bread and butter, as their ultimate money maker. But Confluence this year, in case you haven't seen the Team 23 conferences, Confluence really was elevated at that conference this year. Now, I've always seen Confluence as a second-rate citizen, but Atlassian is trying to change that perspective. And I felt compelled to make a follow-up video from almost a year ago because a lot of fun and exciting and new changes are coming to Confluence that make it worth the investment. Typically, I encourage teams to use Confluence that are using Jira because Jira and Confluence really do go better together. And that is usually the reason number one, if not the ultimate reason, why to use Confluence? Because Confluence really does augment your Jira experience in ways that Jira can't do, in ways that are appropriate in a more written form inside of Confluence. But today I'm gonna to be showing you three new features, relatively new features, that are here in Confluence and that I think you should be very excited for. And I'm also gonna show you a place where you can go and look at all the rolling features that Atlassian is introducing and we'll go through a quick summary of what has changed since the last eight months that I made that first video. So first up, I want to talk about guests. Before, every user had to pay to play. And in Jira, this is truer than ever, which really, really does upset me. But in Confluence, Atlassian has listened. We have stakeholders in our professional environments. We have individuals that don't need to contribute or create inside of Confluence but they want to re extract, they want to be able to see information inside of Confluence. Now, in the past, you have had to pay for every single person. But a few months ago, Atlassian introduced guests for external collaboration. Now, a single space guest is currently in beta, but it's a really, really cool thing that you can do. It's really easy. I'm going to link this link in the description below so that you can see how to invite a guest and all the little steps that you have to go through in order to ensure that your guests have only the right access to the right space. Now, the feature is a little limited, and that is a guest can only access one space at a time, and if they need to access multiple spaces, well, then you need to, you, at least your administrator needs to go in and change that frequently. But if you only have one space and a few pages that you want to share with a group of maybe contractors or directors or VPs or whatever have you, and you don't want to pay for the licenses, this is going to be a great way to expose pages internally, add the restrictions, make sure that you have good security in place, and it's going to be a safe, native way of sharing these spaces with folks that are that just need access to this space. So make sure you definitely check out guests for Confluence because this feature is really, really cool. It's really, really awesome. The only big caveat that I do want to call out is that you get five guests for every paid member. So you want to make sure that your mathematics there makes make sense and um, just make sure you don't violate that because Atlassian will come after you. They've, they've done that to me already. They will 
if you go over, for some reason their, their system isn't designed to actually prevent you from going over, but if you do go over, they will catch you and they will reach out to you because that's what they did to me a few months ago. Up next, we have Confluence Databases. Now this is coming soon. Right now you can sign up for it, but I highly recommend that you try to get on this program as quickly as possible. The Confluence Database is gonna change the way you use Confluence drastically. Now the demo that they showed off at Team 23, and I recommend you check out other videos from Atlassian doing this. As soon as I get my hands on it, I rest assured, I am going to be making videos on this feature. But essentially in a nutshell, what Confluence Databases allows you to do is it allows you to create like variables with information in your pages. And then you can reference those that information, those variables, that data elsewhere and be able to manipulate it, interact with it. So I think the example that they gave was if I set up like number of licenses in a table and down below somewhere I start assigning licenses to people, I can have that number of licenses decrement from the top. So they're very smart. They're, they're aware of where the variables are being used and dynamically build information for you. So I'm really, really excited for this feature. I can't wait to try it out. Keeping my fingers crossed that Atlassian picks me to be able to pioneer this and use it and give, make some videos for you in the near future. Now the next one is probably my most favorite feature. It's something that I've been asking for and something begging for, and that is Confluence whiteboards. And this is basically Miro inside of Confluence. And I love this idea. While you can add plugins, you can extend the, the power of whiteboarding within Confluence, I don't always wanna do diagrams. I think the diagram plugins are really, really good for Confluence is quite a few. We're gonna be reviewing some this summer. But aside from doing diagrams, maybe every once in a while you just wanna collaborate in a very fun and energetic way. And most importantly, you wanna do this in a way that integrates with your Jira as well. Well, the whiteboard capability here is going to allow you to essentially create a lot of just brainstorming abilities quickly and most importantly, convert everything into Jira issues so that you have a more native, more expressive way of brainstorming and coming up with ideas that is very, very much interactive and very stimulating of the creative side of your brain, but then also just be able to push automatically all that effort right into Jira. I really, really like this feature. This is something that really, really excites me. We have stickies and, and most importantly, it's just gonna be a way for you to quickly get some ideas get remote team together and just brainstorm on ideas and really just noodle things out in a very, very native way of doing it and very easy way. So I'm excited. Hopefully again, fingers crossed that Alaskan picks me, please, 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 um, so that I can try this out and do some awesome videos for you on showing you how to do that. Now, the last thing to kind of wrap this video up is there is a link here for new features in Confluence Cloud. I am gonna link this again down below. Everything that I've been talking about is gonna be linked down below. But this, since I made that video eight months ago, this is basically a, a synopsis of all the stuff that has come to Confluence since I made that original video. So I recommend and urge you to go through this section here, look at what's new in May, so you can see new ways to visual, connect and visualize data from multiple sources. You can find information faster with anchored links and embedded pages. So a bunch of cool information, rest assured, New videos are gonna be coming out for each one of these topics so that I can help you answer questions of like, how do I do this? This is cool. What's the business case? What's the business value? And so I'm gonna be making videos on all this stuff. You got new space templates. You got Confluence pages in Jira Work Management. So if you're a Jira Work Management uh, team, you can embed those over there. You can embed Trello boards. You can come up, here's the whiteboard stuff, join the beta. Definitely recommend you join the betas for each one of these. Atlassian, please push these out as soon as possible. Um, Atlassian assistance coming to Confluence as well. So a lot of great stuff there. Never lose track of a task again. This is cool. I want to try this out because I've done this before. I've are very, very popular videos on the task tracking inside of Confluence. So I'm going to go give this a little bit more love. We got ITSM templates. Uh, an improved search bar. So a lot of great things that have been coming to Confluence since my initial video. And so I'm excited to make even more content for you because it usually takes a back seat when you compare to Jira, but Atlassian is clearly investing in Confluence. So if you're not using it today, highly recommend you start 
folding Confluence into your tool suite because you are going to thank me later. Well, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you drop a like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you share this video with all your coworkers, your peers, your team, because this, again, is part of the summer of Atlassian 2.0. Uh, thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. the chase and the hunt and i set the pace when i'm running i always take what i want and i always give it 100 don't need